Hi, my name is Shobha Basavaraj. You're watching Heal Your Body and Mind. In this video, we'll cover charts on food that is highly beneficial, neutral, or the ones that you need to avoid. Charts on weekly portions and how you metabolize meat and poultry, seafood, and dairy and eggs. The video ends with weight gain factors, food that interfere with your weight loss goals, and food that support your weight loss goals. So stay till the end. Blood type is a genetic powerhouse. It influences your immune system, metabolism, and digestive system. As blood type A, you have inherited a more settled and less warlike farmer ancestors. You flourish on plant-based diet. You reap what you sow. You have a sensitive digestive tract. You have tolerant immune system. You adapt well to settled dietary and environmental conditions. You respond best to stress with calming action and you require agrarian diet to stay lean and productive. As blood type A, you will receive greatest benefits when you eliminate all meat. Your system is not suitable for a paleo diet because you lack some of the digestive enzymes and stomach acids which allow you to effectively digest animal protein. When you follow the diet guidelines suitable for blood type A, you can begin to reduce risk factors for heart disease and cancer in your diet. And that's why if you look at the chart, there is no highly beneficial meat and poultry for you. It's best if you can convert to a totally vegetarian diet. If you're not used to vegetarian food, it's best if you can gradually transition by substituting fish for meat several times a week. And if you eat poultry, make sure you choose lean, chemical and pesticide free cuts. Stay completely away from processed meat products such as ham, frankfurters and cold cuts because they contain nitrites which promote stomach cancer in people with low levels of stomach acid. The weekly portion size of meat and poultry for your ancestry is lean red meats, 4 to 6 ounces. If you're African, 0 to 1 time. Caucasian, 0 times. Asian, 0 to 1 time. Poultry, 4 to 6 ounces, 0 to 3 times. If you're African, Caucasian, 0 to 3 times. Asian, 1 to 4 times. Coming up is food that help with your carbohydrate metabolism and with weight loss food that increase microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance, and food that decreases microbiome diversity and encourage microbial imbalance. As I mentioned earlier, there are no highly beneficial meat and poultry that support carbohydrate metabolism and help with your weight loss. Under meat and poultry, there is no food that increase microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance. Under meat and poultry, food that decreases microbiome diversity and encourage microbial imbalance are ham, pork, and bacon. You should avoid these food. As type A, include moderate quantities of seafood three or four times a week. Many varieties of fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which are protective against your tendency for cardiovascular disease and cancer. Avoid white fish such as sole and flounder because they contain lectin that can irritate your digestive tract. Introduce snails into your diet. The edible snail Helix aspersal pomatia contains a powerful lectin that may protect against breast cancer. This is a positive kind of agglutination. This lectin helps to get rid of sick cells. Try to bake, broil, or poach seafood to achieve its full nutritional value. Weekly seafood portion size for your ancestry. All recommended seafood, 4 to 6 ounces. If you're African, 0 to 3 times. Caucasian, 1 to 4 times. Asian, 1 to 4 times. The seafood that you need to be eating because they enhance your carbohydrate metabolism and help with your weight loss are red snapper and sardine. Seafood, which increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance that you need to be eating are carp, cod, mackerel, Atlantic, monkfish, perch, pickerel, walleye, pollock, Atlantic, red snapper, salmon, Atlantic, wild, salmon, chinook, salmon, sockeye, sardine, 
trout, rainbow, wild, trout, sea, whitefish, and witting. Seafood that decreases microbial diversity and encourages microbial imbalances that you need to be avoiding are bass, striped, bluefish, eel, oyster, and tilefish. You can tolerate small amounts of fermented dairy products, but you should avoid anything made with whole milk and also limit egg consumption to an occasional organically grown egg. Your choices should be yogurt, kefir, non-fat sour cream, and cultured dairy products. Raw goat's milk is a good substitute for whole milk. And of course, soya milk and soya cheese are excellent substitutes and are very good for you. Most commercial dairy products are not digestible for you because the sugars in milk tend to be seen as unfriendly to the gut and they encourage the growth of non-A-friendly bacteria. If you are an allergy sufferer or if you are experiencing respiratory problems, know that dairy products greatly increase the amount of mucus you secrete. You normally produce more mucus than any other blood types, probably because you need the extra protection. It provides your somewhat too friendly immune system. However, too much mucus can be harmful because various bacteria tend to live off it. This is another good reason to limit your intake of dairy foods. Portion size of dairy and eggs for your ancestries is as follows. Eggs, one egg. If you're African, one to three times. If you're Caucasian, one to three times. If you're Asian, one to three times. Cheese, two ounce. If you're African, one to three times. Caucasian, two to four times. Asian, zero. Yogurt, four to six ounce. African, zero. Caucasian, one to three times. Asian, zero to three times. Milk, four to six ounce. African, zero. Caucasian, zero to four times. Asian, zero. There are no food under dairy and eggs that support carbohydrate metabolism and help with weight loss. Food under dairy and eggs that you need to be eating that help with your microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance are pecorino cheese, Romanian erda, ghee, clarified butter. Dairy and eggs which decrease microbiome diversity and encourage microbial imbalance that you need to avoid are American cheese, camembert cheese, casein, cheddar cheese, colby cheese, cottage cheese, cream cheese, adam cheese, emmental Swiss cheese, gorgonzola cheese, gruyere cheese, half and half, milk cow skim or 2%, milk cow whole, Monterey Jack cheese, Winster cheese, Neufchatel cheese, Provolone cheese, Roquefort cheese, Stilton cheese, string cheese, and whey protein. The main weight gain factors for blood type A are as follows. Your inability to effectively break down animal protein. You poorly metabolize saturated fats. Your adrenal hormone stress is imbalanced. You have a tendency of higher blood and cell viscosity and you have bacterial overgrowth. Food that interfere with your weight loss goals are generally termed as weight loss problem food. You should avoid all these food. Food that influence ineffective animal protein and fat breakdown that you need to avoid are red meats, beef, lamb, wheel, pork, organ meats, crustaceans like lobster, crab, shellfish, tropical and industrial oils, high fat cheese. Food that influence tendencies towards high blood and cell viscosity that you need to avoid are vinegar, oranges, cow's milk products, distilled liquors, gore gum. Food that encourage bacterial overgrowth that you need to avoid are white and sweet potatoes, black pepper, navy beans, oranges, kidney beans, lima beans, and whey. Food that support your weight loss goals are generally termed as weight loss superfoods and you need to be eating these. Intelligent protein choices that you need to be eating are soy, sardines, snapper, snails, acceptable legumes, beans, and nuts. Food that increase self viscosity that you need to be eating are lemons, water, pineapple, blueberries, blackberries, green tea, acceptable oils like olive, flaxseed, and walnut. Food that control and balance your microbiome that you need to be eating are escarole, dandelion, shad, 
rapini, broccoli rabe, fava beans, prunes, mushrooms, silver dollar. Eat right for your blood type. It's an individualized blood type diet solutions to maintain the right weight, for physical vitality, longevity, and for emotional strength. It's based on the research done by two generations by Dr. James Dodamo and his son, Dr. Peter J. Dodamo. Try this diet plan out for about a month or two and in the comments, write what changes you found, what improvements it did to your health. If you are new to my channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell for new videos. If you like the video, give me thumbs up and write comments below. See you in my next video.